the acting national director of Arocha Uganda. We thank God who has kept us alive. And on behalf of my colleagues, I would like to thank all the people that have supported our work with communities. Hello everyone, this is Avinash Krishnan, the Senior Research Officer at Arusha India. I'm sure the times of COVID has been difficult for everyone and especially here in India, Arusha has been struggling to continue its work in the Banargata area, which started in the year 2003. Nombre es Ciro Flores, soy oficial de proyecto y promoción de programas en Arrocha, Perú, en La Libertad. Llevo trabajando año y medio en el programa Bosque Seco en el norte del Perú. Uh, but when the lockdown due to COVID-19 started, the usual way of visiting families had to stop. For a period of about three months, most of the staff members were working from home amid these challenges of poor internet and limited working space in homes. Right now, most of our field projects have been on a standstill. And as a result of that, we've not been able to get any resources to continue our research, especially with the elephant conservation program. Hay una serie de desafíos a los que nos enfrentamos. La conservación y protección del bosque seco se ha vuelto aún más importante, debido a que en nuestra ausencia la tala y otras actividades ilegales han aumentado. Is knowing that our projects contribute to creation care. We also become very happy when we get impact stories from communities testifying of how the biosand water filters have helped them get access to clean drinking water. We believe that uh, our commitment to conservation as well as our faith in, in the programs that we do are immense at this point, especially in this difficult time. And our teams, despite the challenges, we've still managed to get back on track and we are hoping that uh, things will be good for us in the future as well as be able to impart the conservation movement that we have in this area. Nos mantiene en marcha y nos impulsa el compromiso de las comunidades para conservar el bosque seco, que es uno de los ecosistemas frágiles más amenazados del mundo y que alberga especies endémicas importantes para nuestro país.